In this video, we're going to look generally at how, at present, we recommend managing workplace-based assessments in one file. So here we are looking at the home page of a sample STP trainee. And first of all, let's just check which workplace-based assessments this trainee has to do. So let's go to one of the good progress views. Let's click on, click on progress and gap analysis. Let's tell one file to show us everything this trainee has to do or has done. Now, currently this trainee, for the sake of this demonstration, is working on her histocompatibility module. So let's just find that module. If we scroll down, let's look at the histocompatibility module. And if we scroll again, we will see the range of assessments that are required to be done in this module. And here we can see that one file tells us nice and clearly that the trainee has to complete two case-based discussions and has to complete two of the following range of DOPS and OCEs. Now, for the sake of this demonstration, let's assume that the trainee has been working on and is planning to uh, do a DOPS, where they prepare, which is DOPS number one here, where they prepare blood samples for HLA antibody detection and identification. So, before we initiate this activity in one file, let's do something that it's sensible to do very early on in your use of one file, which is to download the workplace-based assessment feedback forms, which we recommend that you submit to your assessor every time you do a workplace-based assessment. Now, where can these be found? They can be found in the resources section of your one file. So if we click on resources, and here we see there's a folder called STP Trainee Resources and inside that assessment feedback forms. So just for the sake of this demonstration, let's download the DOPS assessment pro forma. So that's now downloaded to our computer. And of course, we could also upload this into our evidence library in one file. So we've always got a, a sample copy of this inside one file in our portfolio. OK, now let's start the process of um, making this activity happen and making and inviting an assessor to um, provide feedback on the activity. So the first step here is for the trainee to invite the assessor to provide feedback on the planned event, this planned DOPS. Now, this DOPS, we might have already agreed with the assessor we're going to do in a couple of days' time. It may even have happened earlier on today. But what we need to do, the first step we need to take is to invite the assessor to provide feedback on the event that we have planned with our assessor. And how do we do this? We make a submission in one file. So we go to Submissions and we go Start New Submission. From the Methods, we're going to select a DOPS. And we have to give this submission a title. So let's call it Histocompatibility DOPS 1. And let's start the process of making this submission. Now we need to say to tell one file which particular um, item in the curriculum or in the module that we are um, inviting assessment against. So we go into this competencies and standards section. We click the plus button. We find the histocompatibility module. We find DOPS1. We tick it. We go to the very bottom of the page and we simply hit save and quit, which means in one file speak, it means progress to the next stage. So hit save and quit. And here we are. We've, we've told uh, one file that this is a DOPS that we want feedback on. We've provided our own title on it. We've selected the particular DOPS from those available. And at this stage, um, given that the DOPS is a live observational um, event. The evidence isn't submitted in one file. The evidence is what happens in the live event. So what I would do here as a trainee is that I will invite my assessor to provide feedback on this particular event. So I'm going to just write to my assessor, please provide me with feedback on DOPS1. Oops. 
on dops one and we'll just paste the title of that dops which we are planning to do um, let's say on September the 30th. So we've given our assessor the place in which they will provide us with feedback on this activity and the place, the submission where they will sign this off. Now here's the, the reason that we downloaded that pro forma earlier. What we recommend that you do to make this easy for your assessor is to provide them with the DOPS assessment feedback form. So as an attachment here, let's click on the attachment icon. Let's go and select this file, which we recently downloaded. There it's there, the DOPS assessment pro forma, which is now inside our evidence library in one file. So we can use it again and again there. And let's simply attach that file to this submission. So let's just review what we've done here. <clears throat> we've created a submission in one file. We've told one file that this is a DOPS. We've given it a title. We've identified the specific assessment that this submission is being made against. And all that we have done uh, as the trainee at this stage is that we've asked our assessor to use this as the place where they provide feedback on this particular DOPS. And in fact, I might just, for clarity, tell my assessor I attach a copy of the DOPS feedback form for you to use in your feedback. And that's us done everything that we need to do to prepare this inside one file. And now we submit it to our assessor. So we go to the very bottom of the page. We sign our own submission and let's just um, take the default assessor which is our training officer as the person who's going to do this at this stage although we could nominate another assessor um, via the change assessor button if we wanted to so we click on save and quit and effectively we have said to our assessor we're going to do this dops here is the place where you will provide me with feedback let's have a very quick look at what that looks like from the assessor point of view I'll just jump into the assessor account. So now that I've made that submission, my assessor has received a task. And if we look in the assessor's task list, it says, please sign the submission. In other words, please make the assessment of histocompatibility DOPS1 by this um, sample trainee. So if we click on that, we go straight to the trainee's submission. And here we are, there's that pro forma that the trainee has provided me with as the assessor. And I've also got a place to make my comments on the event after the event has happened. So that's what the assessor receives. The assessor can now download that pro forma and complete all of the different categories inside it and then reattach it here add a message attachment they can reattach the completed pro forma alongside their comments when they um, come to make that assessment and then they will sign it off and they themselves will hit save and quit to save it back to me so that's a very quick summary of how generally we recommend you manage workplace based assessments in one file we recommend that you use one file to invite assessors to feedback on the live event that via making a submission. Secondly, every time you make that invitation to your assessor, we recommend that you provide them with the assessment pro forma, and that then sets up the assessor with a submission into which they can provide feedback and sign off that particular DOPS or that particular OCE or CBD using the appropriate pro forma. So here to finish off is a quick summary of what we've just walked through. It's a kind of three-step process for submitting workplace-based assessments in one file. Initially, first step, we make a submission where we invite the assessor to provide feedback on the live event that they have observed or they're going to observe. Secondly, as part of this submission, it will really help your assessor if you send them the appropriate assessment feedback form and thirdly, the assessor then receives the submission to sign off. And as part of it, they can download 
feedback form, they can complete it and attach it to their feedback in one file when they assess and provide feedback upon the live event that they have observed.